Hey y'all, how's it going? Uh, it's Sunday, we're back here. We did not get here as early as we had planned because it was supposed to rain at like four o'clock and now the rain is pushed off until like tonight. So I let Caleb sleep in a little bit. He's more of a night owl than me. Although I did stay up pretty late last night too. So, um, I was playing Minecraft. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so today we're going to put the trim back on the front window. And, uh, I think while Caleb is finishing up prepping things, uh, I am going to clean up. So let's get doing to that. Um, let's get to doing that. <laughs> Got some good cleaning done. I'll probably get some more done later, but right now, um, Caleb has asked me to come help him hang up that trim because he's got to hang out the window on his harness, you know, super safe, of course, but um, yeah, it's just better to have a second person there keeping an eye on you. So I'm just sitting for a second catching some air from this fan. Um, and I did want to talk about how I pulled the staples out of the sash on the window, which if you don't know, is um, like the actual window part with the glass in it. So we're replacing those. So I don't know why I was pulling the staples. I was just like in the zone, you know, like must remove all staples. So I pulled everything out and I didn't need to. So I'll remember that from now on. Don't pull all the staples. Just do the window frame and trim and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go help Caleb and see what he's doing. All right, so I'm just working on prepping the outside of these windows here so we can put the trim pieces back up uh, so that big flat one goes right here and then the rounded-ish ones go here in these corners so just working on doing that it's a nice day out a little hot again but you know not as bad as yesterday it's just a rain in a few hours so how you feeling when it's hot, everything sticks to you because you sweat and all the dust just sticks to you. <laughs> it's miserable. Yeah. He's working a lot harder than me as per usual. I'm just kind of here making sure that he's safe and I can pass him things as needed because he was outside. So, And it looks like um, the neighbor, not right next door, but um, one house away is getting their yard cleaned up. So that's good. Happy about that. So. Okay, so now Caleb is sorting out his pieces. Whew, it's hot. I need some water. Um, let me just show y'all kind of what I got cleaned up. All right, Caleb's got some dusty shoes. So it took some trash out. Um, getting some more trash in here. Trying to get cans of things and jugs and whatnot organized under there. And also these, all these like plinth blocks and trim pieces and whatnot are in there. They're in there safely, don't worry. They're not just like, well, they are kind of just in there, but they're placed gently. So, um, so yeah, I got this area all swept up. Just trying to do some organizing. I put um, bigger tools, stuff that you can just sort through really easily in here. Clamps, the respirators, um, his plaster tools, so. Still working on it. Maybe I'll get some more done later after we um, get all those pieces up on the front of the house. Ooh, just sitting down for a second. Um, still laughing at this shirt. <laughs> um, so I was about to throw some boxes away and I was like, wait, we have a recycling bin. So I'm gonna put them in there. But um, St. Louis, since you know everything's been happening, um, you know, like, everywhere is kind of short-staffed 
everywhere is hurting for people. So I think that the city has just been picking up the recycling along with the trash or just taking it to the dump or whatever, um, which I know has been happening in our neighborhood. We have dumpsters there. We don't have personal trash cans in our current neighborhood, which we have dumpsters out here too, but here at this house, we have our personal um, trash cans that we recently got. Woohoo! But, um, so yeah, and then like in our neighborhood, when we take recycling out, it's always just full of food. And it's like, y'all, they're different colors, <laughs> like, come on. But yeah, so I think that, you know, that might have, have been a contributing factor to things getting picked up just as trash all around. But hopefully maybe since we have our own personal cans, they will get picked up as recycling. That's what I'm hoping at least, you know. So he's getting ready to go out there and tack this piece back up. Hello again. And that one. Got no, the... first off. Well, you know, I'm just saying, they're there and you're gonna put them up today. <laughs> they're, they're going up. So that'll be really nice to have like, you know, something fresh looking on the front of the house. Cause it's kind of, it'll just be nice to see something kind of done on the front, you know, and not just crumbling away the way that it's been. So another quick note about my Bucky shirt. So I posted it on my Instagram stories and somebody sent me a message saying, it looks like Caleb. And I was like, it does. It does. Caleb doesn't have buck teeth, but other than that, it sure do. <laughs> so we just took a look at the front of the house. It looks good. It looks good. It looks uh, much better than the one below it. You'll have to watch Caleb's video to uh, see that. She'll see you tomorrow. But I mean, I'm sure you'll all be there. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, right? You wouldn't have any reason to watch me, you know? Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm trying to take in what I need to do on these next You're few You're fine. Ones. So Caleb was nice enough to let me caulk a little bit, which uh, it's not my first rodeo. Uh, my mom has a rental house um, that somebody lived in for like five years. And then uh, when they moved out, it used to be my dad would um, fix it up to get it, you know, um, fresh and, you know, Okay, um, nice and fresh for somebody new to live in. And um, you know, my dad's passed away, so um, I did it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, definitely caulked a lot. I had to, I replaced the toilet in that house all by myself. Like literally hauled it in from my car, brought it in, installed it. So like, I'm handy at some things, you know? Some things like woodworking and stuff. That's Caleb's deal, that's Caleb's deal, electric stuff. I don't know. And maybe I know a little bit, but not too much. I did put a light in that house. I put in a new light in the kitchen. So that was, I was really proud of myself. Although, um, the first time I wired it, it was a little bit wrong. And uh, the switch wouldn't turn off. It was on, but it wouldn't turn off. So I had to get back in there and rewire it. So yeah, we're getting, we're gonna get a storm here in a little bit. I don't know if you can see, it's a little cloudy over there. That's south of here though. So it shouldn't hit us because things usually move straight east here. And, uh, <laughs> fire truck um but yeah so we should be okay because here's west of us and it i don't know it's a little bit blown out but it doesn't look bad west of us but we should get rain later so we're trying to hustle so let's get back into it all right so we got rained on um we got started getting um the second windows trim up we got the first window all in place and caulked and whatnot not painted though and then uh, started trying to put the trim up on the smaller window to the side and uh, started raining. So Caleb tacked that up real quick. It's not caulked. And now it's not currently raining. So he's up there trying to paint the, the first window, the big one. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm tired again. It's just hot. I'm just really beat. And uh gotta go home and wash my hair for the third day in a row which I never do <laughs> been dusty it's just I've just been dusty so yeah um so tomorrow um we're supposed to go we were gonna go together to look for the trim for the uh, my craft room but uh refab is closed um and there are a couple of other places um one we've literally never been able to get into it's always closed so I don't know. It probably won't be open tomorrow, 
but there's also junk at the Lent Brewery. That's the name of the shop. It's called Junk. Um, I always call it Junk, though, because it's J-U-N-Q-U-E. So I always call it Junke. But, um, so maybe they'll be open, maybe not. Um, but there's also, like, a Habitat for Humanity Restore. But I think, honestly, our best bet for finding good pieces would probably be at Junk. So hopefully he'll be open. But, um, if we do find somewhere that's um, open and we're able to go look, uh, I will bring y'all along. So, and uh, yeah, there was something else I was going to mention, but I don't remember now. So um, I will see y'all later. Okay. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. One more quick thing before I go. When uh, we were outside and I said, y'all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Caleb. I mean, y'all wouldn't know about me to watch it. And I also wouldn't have a channel at all. You know what I mean? So not saying like, you guys don't like me. You're only watching for Caleb. That's not what I think at all. Just, uh, you wouldn't know who we were. That's all. So, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.